Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back from uh, a little mini hiatus, I guess you might call it. Um, but it was like two or three days, nothing really that exciting happened. Uh, ran into some health stuff, but that's kind of, so that's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> happy coincidence that I hadn't planned on recording during that time. Um, also, Phoenix Master definitely did the video I was planning on doing on George. So, I guess I'm glad I didn't really waste my time trying to uh, do that. Again, another happy coincidence, I suppose. Um, we are back, and we are going to summon on a new future. This guy. The, the, the Choose Your Legends. Really, it's just a normal Heroes banner that was chosen by the player base, for the most part. Um, it doesn't really feel Choose Your Legendies to me. Um, in fact, it's not even like a paralogue or anything. It's just a normal chapter. Um, I think the thing that makes this particular event interesting is the Forging Bonds. So if you haven't done the Forging Bonds yet, or you haven't gotten through um, all of the story bits, we'll call them story bits. I guess that's, a, that's an accurate way to describe them. Uh, you should do that, because that I think that really kind of is what the Forging Bonds, the Choose Your Legends experience is what that is. So, um, yes, that's it. That's all I got. Uh, there is a giveaway going on right now, too, if you want to check that out as well. I'll leave a link in the description. It was the video I had posted for a little while. Uh, whenever I am ready to pick them, probably by the end of this week sometime... I'll just go ahead and unlist the video and no longer accept uh, entries on the application. If you've already entered, though, don't enter again. It's just one one per person, please. Poor Favor. Uh, I don't really want to... I'm going to filter by email and stuff to weed out any duplicates that I could possibly find. But I don't really want to. So, all right. <laughs> we're, we're getting into this. We're in it. Uh, basically, you can spark four times. You don't really need to spark that many times because uh, we do get a free pick. I am saving that free pick, by the way, because I'm doing these. And to be honest, I don't even know if I'm going to go for the full three spark. That would be a part two type video. We'll probably get through it like at least one, maybe two sparks. I don't know yet. We'll have to see. I haven't decided that part yet. So there's that. Um, I don't know. I so I don't I don't necessarily have anything against this particular event. It just doesn't feel very special to me. <laughs> I guess that's the that's that's the way that I'm thinking about it. Um, but, it, you know, it, like I said, it, whether it's just a new Heroes banner or uh, something extravagant like an anniversary deal, uh, it was chosen by the players. That much I'm, I'm pretty sure of. Uh, although after the botting example for George, um, I don't know if that's maybe entirely true. Because <laughs> it kind of just seems like you could do it and not tell anybody and then not get caught uh <laughs> but um beyond that I, I guess it doesn't really matter um this is an event that was curated by us the player base and so if you're happy about it you're happy about it if you're not you're not future legends 5 is right around the corner it's crazy that it's already like mid-august like i knew in my head it was mid mid august mid, 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 mid august i knew in my head that it was mid august um but for whatever reason, it hadn't really clicked that we had gone through, like, multiple holidays and stuff <laughs> since the whole quarantine stuff happened. Which, Jenna and I have been in quarantine this entire time. Um, we have not gone inside a store. We have not seen family. We have not seen friends. Uh, we maybe spend... I don't, whenever I try to go outside, it's usually at night. Um just because less people hopefully um virginia's numbers were were good uh, but then they started going back up again hey dimitri i'll tell you what this guy doesn't care about covid he 
Well, he probably does, actually. That's true. He. <laughs> that's not a fair assumption to make, Brian. Don't put that on, Dimitri. All right. Uh, let's pop him up there. Bada boom. All right. So we got Dimitri. We got one. There it is. Plus defense minus res. I don't think that's terrible. I don't think that's the worst thing possible. Um, obviously, attack. I You know, any... Except for Cliff. Any unit except for Cliff. Uh, I think attack is usually a good option for their Banes and Boons. Speed is also usually a good option. Um, unless for an obvious reason that it's not. Um, but attack seems to age better. And I think maybe sometimes that's more important uh, than, uh, you know, than trying to go for, like, the really obscure build and then something happens along the way and it completely rickrolls your entire plan to use them. So, I don't know. But attack is usually, uh, in my in my experience, the, the better policy. If, if you're going to get anything, you might as well get attack. It lasts a little bit better. However, now that we have um, special trait fruits, the mangoes, uh, I don't really think that that matters. <laughs> they will be rare. I just want to emphasize that. They are definitely going to be rare. You guys think divine codes are rare? <laughs> Bruh. Uh, you're maybe, you're maybe going to get 300 a year, I would assume. Maybe 500, just to make that like even and divisible and whatnot. Maybe. Maybe it's possible. But I would honestly say like 300 a year is probably more likely. Um, maybe 400. One, per, one, one set per season, maybe. That's something that could happen. Uh, we, have, we have a Dimitri, but we're still going to pull blue because that is obviously the, uh, the better way to spark. So that's what we're going to do. Because really, I'm just in it for the sparks at this point. I don't, I don't have a horse in this game. Um, I kind of get who I get, and my reason behind that is uh, brave units tend to crop back up pretty frequently. Um, in fact, if there's going to be a filler of some kind on a legendary or mythic banner where uh, they don't really have the units to fill that slot. It's probably going to be a Brave unit, or for whatever reason, a Fallen unit. They really like to rerun those, too. So, I feel like there's going to be a lot of opportunity for them. So, if that's something that you are maybe considering when you're when you're polling and such, um, just remember that these guys are normal. They are in the pool. Uh, they will be on Hero Fest banners. In fact, there's probably going to be one in February again. Uh, there may even be one in November. Um, like to, to start the new book. There's there's a, a handful of times that these guys could pop back up in Hero Fest banners. They happen a couple times a year. And uh, like I said, they're in the normal pool too. So they could crop up on, uh, you know, skills banners and, and things like that too. Um, they will definitely be available. So don't feel like you have to pull right now. I know the spark is very tempting. Um, but I kind of feel like the, the multi-spark option that we have, that's kind of for people who voted in February, found the results, and then they were like, oh my god. I'm say I you know, I'm I'm not spending a single orb until August. I have I've saved for like seven months. I've not done anything, I'm just focusing on this banner. I feel like that's what the multi-spark kind of helps to, to benefit. Because whales are gonna whale. <laughs> like I don't really think they care about uh, a multi spark. It's just kind of like a, like an icing on cake type situation for them, uh, where they get a guaranteed hit. Uh, not so much the saver player type, who has been um, stashing away every orb they get since the results were announced. <laughs> so I think that's kind of who the multi spark is meant to gear towards. Um, and again, with the multi-spark, you can only pick one hero each time. Uh, so once you pick an Edelgard, for example, from the spark, you cannot pick Edelgard in the second spark, or the third or fourth. You, you just get who you get. Um, so really, between the sparking option and the free pick option, you know, you can get one of every unit with the sparks, and then a free unit 
from the free draw of anybody. So uh, two of one unit and then one of each of the others. So it's not, uh, it's, I don't think it's really intended to help you plus 10 things, if that makes sense. Um, I think it's more of a, I'm really excited about all of these units, let me try and get catalog. Although, realistically, I think you have to spend something like, um, probably like almost 550 orbs, somewhere around there, uh, to, to utilize all four sparks anyway. And I feel like if you're going to drop half a thousand orbs, <laughs> you're probably going to get one of each. At least I would hope uh, that your luck would not be that bad, and that you would be able to get <laughs> something along the... Like, I don't think... If you're going for four sparks, I don't think your sparks alone should be the only brave units that you get from the banner. Does that make more sense? I don't think that that is likely. Uh, it's definitely possible somebody could have that bad of luck. Um, but, I mean, for example, I've already gotten a, uh, a Dimitri, so I've gotten a Brave unit. My only unit is not going to be from the Spark option for him. Um, Emrin. Emrin's nice. There's a lot of staff units I want to plus 10 now. It's weird. <laughs> for the longest time, I was like, man, I don't know any staff units that I really genuinely like that much. And then out of nowhere... Uh, Mercedes, and then months later we get Emerin, um, and then Lena, like, literally weeks after that. Um, so now I'm, now I've got to consider those things in my thought process. Oh, Burst. A reposition king. That's all you really are to me, man. I'm sorry. No hard feelings, though. Alright, so we've seen a single five star so far. Um, I have heard from the internet uh, <laughs> that a lot of people have been getting boned in a sense uh, with off focus breaks I'm hoping that that doesn't happen to us today because that would suck I'll be real uh, I would not enjoy that at all but um, I don't know I'm, I mean if it happens it happens I suppose uh, there is the double special that's also coming around again uh, pretty soon Actually, I'm not I'm not 100% on when that's actually happening again, uh, but I feel like it's pretty soon. I should look that up, but I'm not going to. I'll just speculate that it's a couple days away from now. Because <laughs> uh, I think that I think the way they try and fashion the double specials is if there's nothing else really going on, they'll try and pin them between the the late month banner and the legendary mythic banner at the end of the month. So kind of break it up that way. So I'm assuming that it's probably like around the 21st, 22nd, somewhere around there. Actually, you know what? Let me just look. <laughs> Let me just look. Alright, let me just stop guessing, Reese. What are you doing here? Nobody invited you. Speaking of a uh, staffing that I don't want to plus 10. Reese. Oh, and my image. Oh, there it is. Oh, hey! Uh, double special is on the 24th, so that's kind of close. Hey, look at that! We got Claude. How exciting. Let me pop him up here. Let me pop our boy up here. Bam! Actually, wait. No, that doesn't look right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me make this slightly more accurate. There we go. That's better. All right. So, Claude is here. Oh, that is a cursed IV set. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> Plus HP minus speed is literally the worst IV set. Uh, like, I hate it so much. I genuinely hate it so much. And it seems to plague me pretty consistently. The plus HP curse. Uh, I just... Mm, mm, I just don't know. I just don't know. I mean, Fury 4 is nice. Flyer exclusive, baby. Look at that. Which I think some people kind of had an assumption on that Rain would be. Uh, unfortunately, C skills are not really the main issue with Flyers. It's B skills, in my opinion. Um, but hey, that's alright. We'll take a Claude. We'll take a Claude. We were getting up there, man. We were at like 20 summons without getting a 5 star, which is just insane. Well, it's not really insane. 
that's not that crazy. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's like half a percent, I think, is what that jumps up to. But we have 30 now. So that's hype. Uh, let's see, we haven't gotten a Lysithia, we haven't gotten an Edelgard. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a limb and say that I should probably use one of those as our spark number one. I think that's probably how I'm leaning. I've been trying to think about, you know, because sometimes I'm lazy, and sometimes I rely on the King PM1 uh, to help me get in-game rewards, because, frankly, there's not enough hours in the day for me to really sit down and try to figure out solutions. Except Limited Hero. I do, I do actually tr genuinely try on those. And, then, like, I do, yeah, I do try on the Mythics in Legendary battles too but when it comes down to like five hours before the thing ends and you have to wait like six months for them to show back up and get the accessory i'm not happy about that sometimes i gotta rely on pm1 uh so i don't know who's probably going to be better for free to play guides if this is something that applies to you um if i had to take a guess probably dimitri probably just based on skill set alone. Um, not only that, but outside of Fjorm, there's really not too many... There's not really many free-to-play Lance users. I'm trying to think. I mean, there's obviously there's there's a handful of viable options in like three to four pools and stuff like that. But as far as like reward units and... Stuff like that. I can't even really think. Who would be in the Grail? Valentine's Elwood. But he's in armor. I don't know. Lance infantry units are kind of rare. They're slightly unicornish. Because of the, the lance on the... No, okay, never mind. This is a bad joke, never mind. Uh, no chance at Lysithia, so there's that. Unless we see an Edelgard pop up here, I'm probably going to go for her as the spark. I think. Oh, Wrath. We just plus 10 him not that long ago. Very fun to use. Super stoked about that extra Julian that I had. So that I was able to uh, give him close foil. Very cool. One of my, one of my favorite builds. Alright, so... I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we spark Edelgard. That's where I'm leaning. That's where I'm leaning. Because I know greens are kind of hard, like, I really, I genuinely hate trying to summon greens in pools, too. They tend to, they tend to not be very forgiving for me. Blue is usually pretty good. Uh, red is usually pretty strong. Colorless, now I'm like a 50-50 whether or not I actually enjoy summoning on that color. Green is always one of those if it actually shows up in the pool. Uh, more often than not, I am likely to get an alternate uh, pity break. Unless for whatever reason it's Spring Crom. I don't really know what his deal is. He just kept showing up one day. And then eventually he just became a plus 10. I don't really know how or why it happened. It just kind of did. There you go. I gave him Distant Counter because that's what you do. Alright, so we got our Spark. We are Sparked. So I think... I mean, there's not really... You know, if you're going for Catalog, you might as well. You know what I mean? So we're going to Spark Edelgard. And so now technically, I could have Catalog here. Uh, because I do still have that free pull. Which is kind of nice. So there's that. But in terms of what I want to do now, I don't know. I don't know if we spark again. I don't know if we go for double spark. Let's do it. We might as well. Yeah, we might as well. All right, we'll try for red here. We'll just try and get catalog, I guess. 
And if we go for multi sparks, it might be another video. But I kind of want to save my free pick. Because uh, frankly, my Claude's minus IV stat is kind of a huge bummer. And uh, Dimitri got plus defense, which is, you know, that's manageable for sure. And at the end of the day, if I summon enough <laughs> and spark, I will get a Lysithia. So there's that. Uh, I guess there's not really a downside, is there? As long as you have the currency, then you're, you're good to go, I guess. That just is what it is. But I don't know. There's a lot of good stuff coming up. I'm still not entirely convinced that we won't see somebody like, uh, like Nemesis or somebody really cool. Oh, wait, is it Legendary this month? It's Legendary this month. Never mind. It's not going to be Nemesis. I think he's more of a mythic hero type. Uh, legendary. Who could be Legendary? Who could be Legendary? Byleth could be Legendary. That would be interesting. Legendary Byleth could be interesting. And fitting, because we already have legend Legendary Yogurt. I just feel like that would be too ironic to pass up. Wouldn't that just be something? Like, maybe they planned that. Maybe that was planned. Maybe they're going for Legendary Violet this month. Just to, like, circle it all in, you know what I mean? Because um, up until now, we've only had Academy Year units. Oh. No, let's see. Darn. Oh, gosh. I just noticed how giant that Edelgard was. We'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. I had a fit, and now I'm better. <laughs> I don't know why I keep getting, like, stalked by Loki. I'm really annoyed. I mean, plus attack is cool, but I think that's what my current Loki is. Oh, God, I hate Loki so much. I have I have learned that I just I don't like Loki. That's how I feel. Boned by Loki twice now. First with uh, Tibarn, I think Pirate Tibarn. Is that where she showed up first, or was it before that? I can't remember. I think it was. And now, huh? <laughs> now that could have been a Claude. We could have had another Claude hanging upside down, but we don't because of Loki. I blame Loki for all of my problems. I don't care if I'm wrong about it. That's how I feel. Anyway. I fixed Edelgard too. I didn't notice how giant she was. Something was messed up with my proportions, clearly. <laughs> clearly something was messed up with proportions. Um, have you noticed how with Claude upside down, everybody's shoulder regalia like, blends in with one another. It makes, like, a little arch. That's cute. That's fun. <laughs> Simpler times, right? The Forging Bondsman is really interesting. Like, I, I, genu I genuinely dig it. I like what they've done with it. Uh, I like the direction that they took it. It all seems really, uh, really interesting. I wish that they would do more like that. I'm trying to not be specific. <laughs> I'm trying not to be specific when I talk about it, because I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Uh, I don't know when this video is going up. Maybe Tuesday. Maybe Wednesday, maybe Tuesday. We'll have to see. I've had to work at a slightly slower pace uh, for reasons. So I haven't entirely been able to uh, speed through things like I normally would. Maybe that's all right. Maybe sometimes we just take our time and things are okay. Things are okay with that. Uh, could get an Edelgard. Could be another Loki. Loki's not green, but I'm sure she would trickster her way into being green just to screw me over again. We'll have to see. <laughs> we'll just have to wait. Do you want to come fix your IV? No. Oh, man. I saw the big shoulders and I was like, ooh. I was like, oh, it's too round. There's no fur on it. Or hair. Fur? Fur. Fur. Lion. Obviously. 
Duh. Like a mane. Manes are fur, right? Yeah, I think that's true. I think that's right. That seems right. That seems right. Oh, man. Oh, that's fun. Get a hero for free. Is it free, though? It's not really free, though, is it? <clears throat> it's free, but at a cost. As, as are most things in life. Free, but at a cost. Lolina. I remember when Lolina got her refined and everybody was like, yo, Lolina. That's the play. So crazy. I am pretty excited for the weapon refines for uh, Choose Your Legends 2 heroes. I, for whatever reason, kept getting stalked by uh, Brave Hector. So... He'll be making an appearance, uh, I'm sure, at some point. I do have him at plus 10. I think he's I think he's plus defense or plus attack. Plus attack or defense, I can't remember. But I'm hoping whatever refine he gets plays well with that. Because, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not really big on armors. If I do any kind of armor emblem, I'm usually stacking dragons uh, with Tiki and Nagi. I don't know. We'll have to see. I could be down for Hector. I could be down with that. Alright, we are 20 summons away from spark number two. So that's cool. I guess. The Galt. Hey, buddy. Hey, man. Alright, 20 away. I think we'll still have like a hundred orbs or so left. Uh, so that's pretty good, I think, overall. But we have a neutral Edelgard, which is better than a minus attack Edelgard. So I'm overall pretty satisfied with that. Uh, Dimitri, I think, I wasn't really, I wasn't really excited for that many units. Um, and maybe it's just because the most recent route I played was Blue Lions. But I think I was maybe more excited for Dimitri out of everybody. Which is kind of a bummer that he has... Not that plus defense is a bad IV. I don't think it is. But it's not very exciting. <laughs> it's not It's not showy like attack would be. You know what I mean? Um, so there's that. But, you know, it, it's, it's not minus attack. It's not a minus attack IV, he said. And I can live with that. Uh, the the thing I keep saying in my head is, well, you'll have trait fruits, though. And then I'm also like, mm, yeah, but I should invest in, like, Cronia or uh, Dark Flyer Lady, whose name I can't remember, <laughs> who is on my AR defense team and probably gets bopped a lot. She could probably use plus HP as an IV. Um, I think the trait fruits in general are probably most beneficial to Grail units. Because if you didn't know, Grail units, or just the, the reward units, the neutral units... Well, I shouldn't say neutral. Because uh, there's units like Emerin and Kaze that were given away as rewards, but they're, they're in the normal pool, so they have IVs. But the Grail units of, like, Bound Hero, Grand Hero... Uh, those guys, your Tempest Trials units, those guys, uh, well, not Bound Hero, just GHB. GHB and Tempest Trials. Those guys are um, always neutral, 100%. You can only get them that way. But they've always had IVs within them. Uh, they've just not been unlockable, in a sense. So uh, now that we can harness that power, uh, it seems as though they are... They're maybe going to see some new life? Maybe? Maybe? I think Rutger is probably a good one that people might have slept on. Just because of the neutral IV aspect. Um, but now that you can give him, like, plus attack, plus speed or something. Uh, he's probably going to seem a lot more... Uh, a lot more interesting to people. We'll, we'll, say, we'll say that. 
he's going to seem more interesting to people. So, you know, for what that's worth, um, I think the, the trait fruits kind of give good incentive to use older units that have been neutral locked for so long um, that they kind of got power crept. So they, might, they may be able to, like, play on the playing field a little bit better with everybody else now as we move into what I assume is ushered into a new BST level uh, with this most recent banner. Because <laughs> George's, George's IVs, or uh, his BST is like something crazy, I think. Um, but it, it seems like we're setting a new shelf for, uh, for base stats. <laughs> Great. So that'll be fun. Um, but I think, uh, I think some of the older gray, grail units will be uh, the bigger benefactors of the, the trait fruit stuff. Additionally, uh, I think the former units that you can purchase, uh, that is, uh, I mean, shoot, man. You get a unit at a reasonable cost with uh, premium skills, kind of at your own discretion. I mean, you have to roll for the skills, but you can, you know, it's kind of up to you, how you what you build, depending what you roll. Um, and then you can change the IV to it, and then pretty easily plus 10 it if you want, uh, which is what I did with uh, Summer Fiora. I plus 10 her because I got like, uh, she's got Petal Parasol, which plays with penalty, um, but she got Sudden Panic and Panic Smoke and all kinds of weird stuff on her. I was like, well, this build seems very synergetic. I think I'll, I think I'll cash out on this. And then I actually spent Grails for the first time. Oh, come on. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Why am I getting stalked by these units? Specifically Camilla. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I am not a fan. I am not happy. Okay, well, why are you not... Why are you not showing up? Always being troublesome. And, you know, it could have been Lysithia. Because I'm pretty sure she is red. Which just kind of adds to my frustration a little bit. But it's fine. This game is fun. <laughs> I enjoy getting dumb units that I don't want over new shiny units that are fancy. I'm pretty sure she was the red one, right? Yeah, I think she was. Yep. Yep, plus HP. Of course it is. Do you even have anything? Do you even have anything? Attack res bond, attack res link. Goat flyers. Goat flyers pretty okay. Uh, but I think it's available elsewhere. I didn't really want it. I'd have much rather had a Lysithia. Which is not a sentence I think I would ever thought I would say. But here we are. Strange times. Very strange times. How many orbs did I start with? 439 orbs is what I started with. Holy Moses. That's a lot of orbs. <laughs> that is a lot of orbs. We're down to 164. I don't know how many of that is. But almost 300. I think. I think it's almost 300. We got the house leaders at least. Which means I think I have to spark for Lysithia. I think that means that's what I have to do. Oh yeah. Yep. No chance. No chance at Lysithia here. No red stones. Feels bad, man. Wasn't I just saying how red is normally pretty good to me? I seem to recall that that's what I was saying. Very disappointing. Quite disappointing. Uh, oh well. Maybe we can snag an extra Dimitri here. That would be nice. There's two chances. Well, two more chances. We just we just saw Donald. <laughs> oh no! It's it, we're just having an awakening party. That's all. It's an awakening party. <laughs> A four-star awakening party, no less. All right, come on, Dimitri. Listen. I'm wearing blue, you're wearing blue. Seems appropriate. Ah, oh, May. Someday you'll get an alt May. Even if it's just a resplendent, I'd be probably fine with that. 
However, I would ultimately prefer something more of a New Year's roll for you. That would be cool. I hope that happens. I hope we get Valentin New Year's this year. That'd be pretty sweet. Although I have a sneaking suspicion uh, that it's probably going to be... It's probably going to be Awakening and Fae split. Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe not Awakening. Hmm. Genealogy might be interesting. A genealogy new year. All right, friends, we made it to spark number two. Aren't we the best Fae players ever? I think we are. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just grab catalog. Um, I'm genuinely torn. I don't know if I want to do another two sparks. <laughs> I don't know if my heart has what it takes to do this. Um, we spent a lot of orbs. <laughs> Honestly, more than I was anticipating. We spent a lot. Um, so there, there's our Lysithia. She's neutral. No need to explain that. Um, yeah, so we dropped about 300 orbs. Two hundred ninety-five to be exact, I think. I did quick math in my head. Uh, so we dropped 295 orbs, got... Four five stars, two of which were off focus. So we batted 50 50, and then of course we got two sparks from that as well. <sighs> that doesn't seem great to me. <laughs> Those don't seem like great odds to me. Uh, we were just at. Oh, wait. Oh, we're still up. Oh. No, not, not by that much, though. We do still have our free pick. Uh, so I guess if there's someone's IVs that I want to change, I can, I can do that later. Um,. But currently, uh, there's really no benefit to pulling a free Edelgard or a free Lysithia out of fodder. So, I guess I'm just going to have to mull that over and think about what I want to do. Yay. So, there's that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Again, if you didn't enter in the orb giveaway, that's still going on. Uh, it'll probably run through the week. Probably. So, if you want to check that out, feel free to do so. Uh, in the comments, let me know how your summon session went. I've seen mixed reviews online. I don't know uh, if the banner is cursed or not. But uh, I have not seen that many people have come out on top. Which is a bummer. <laughs> but if you are not one of those people, or if you are, let me know in the comments down below. Hey, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, do it. Join the channel. Be part of it. Please. That's all I have. Thank you guys for hanging out. I uh, hope your summon sessions went well. Thank you again for watching. And until then, I will catch you next time.